Hey everybody, welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. Today I am going to be sharing with you my personal experience with feeding rabbits only pellets. Of course, at the current moment, with my current set of rabbitry goals and values, I am choosing not to feed any pellets to my meat rabbits at all. But in the past, I've had different goals and different values for different rabbits, and I have experimented with my rabbit's diet a lot. When I was first researching rabbits, I found a lot of people talking about how rabbits need pellets and they need hay. A lot of pet rabbit owners would talk about the absolute necessity that hay was, that they needed the long fibers of the hay to help their gut move properly, and that they would get GI stasis if they didn't get enough hay, which basically means like they wouldn't be able to digest things properly, and they would quickly get sick or pass away. Many experienced sources would tout this claim, and they had scientific studies to back it up, and so for a while that's just what I did, because that's what all the experts were saying. Of course, pellets were necessary, but they were more of like an addition or a supplement or a treat, and hay was the main thing. Mostly hay, a little bit of pellets. But as I began to move from fiber rabbits that were kind of pets with a purpose and more into meat rabbits that were more like farm animals and livestock, I noticed a lot of people talking about how they fed their rabbits only pellets, and I thought, that's ridiculous! All the experts say, you can't feed your rabbits only pellets, they need hay or they're gonna get sick and die. But I kept seeing it pop up and pop up. It turns out a large chunk of meat rabbit breeders feed their rabbits only pellets, and it makes sense, because hay is messy and time consuming and can easily get wasted, and if you have a large rabbit operation, it's much easier to dump a scoop of pellets in their bowls instead of having to open the cage and put hay in and then the hay will fall through or get peed on. It's just a lot of hassle. And for me, I had the added issue of my long furred Angora rabbits, who I used for fiber, getting super messy because of the hay. They would roll in it and dig in it like any rabbit would. And in addition to getting it super dirty and wasting it, it would get all in their fur and get tangled up in their fur, and it was so hard to brush out and keep clean. Part of me started to wish that I could just get rid of the hay and feed only pellets, but I was scared to because all the experts were saying that you couldn't do that. But at one point, I was just fed up with brushing hay out of fur again and seeing most of it just go to waste on the cage floor. I had been spending so much money on all these different hay feeders to see what would be minimal waste, but it was still wasting it and it was just so frustrating that I decided to experiment and try and see if only pellets would work because there were two completely opposite ideas and I wanted to know which was right and which was not. So I took matters into my own hands and did an experiment. I slowly weaned some of my Angora rabbits off of hay and kept feeding them pellets like regular and I waited for disaster to strike. I was really enjoying the process, it was so much easier, so much faster, so much cleaner, but I kept waiting for them to start getting skinny or bloated or lethargic and then die, because that's what I was told would happen, and that was just with regular rabbits. See, Angora rabbits have long fur that they will accidentally ingest as they groom themselves, so they have even more of a chance of getting GI stasis because their long fur can easily get stuck in their guts. So supposedly you need that fiber to help move everything through even more than regular rabbits. So I thought maybe, you know, the meat rabbits with the short fur may be okay on pellets, but these long fur angora rabbits, maybe that's not so good for them. But I kept waiting and waiting and nothing bad happened. It was amazing. My adult rabbits were doing so well. And then while on this only pellet diet, Sequoia got pregnant. She carried a successful litter. She gave birth well. She nursed them wonderfully. And the babies slowly grew and they exited the nest box and they started eating solid foods and pellets were all they ate. They had no hay, no greens, no treats, nothing, just pellets. And these wee little babies with these brand new super sensitive digestive systems did amazing on pellets and they got bigger and bigger and they got weaned on just pellets and they did just fine but around this time i was getting tired of spending so much money on pellets when we had so much free green matter i could just harvest for them and feed for free so when my baby angoras became teenager angoras i slowly introduced fresh greens to them and then slowly phased out the pellets so they were just eating our natural diet but the experiment was successful. I had fed adult rabbits, pregnant rabbits, nursing rabbits, baby rabbits, teenage rabbits on a diet of all pellets, 
and they didn't get sick, they didn't die, they didn't get GI stasis, and they were more likely to get it than your average meat rabbit. So, through my personal experience, I have learned once again that you should not blindly trust the experts, even if they have some scientific evidence, because what worked for them and their specific situation may be completely different than your specific situation, or they could just be lying or mistaken or I don't know what was going on. But I can now say that yes, rabbits can survive and thrive on a pellets-only diet. So, in case you were wondering, that is my answer. Thanks for watching!